We have been asked to join in the village fete this year and contribute an idea for raising money for the new roof on our dear little church. He's going to announce the winner of the ideas competition. I hope we win it. And of course, we asked all you children to think hard and come up with an idea for raising lots of money. Oh, do get on with it, Headmaster. I bet those spotty twins get the winning idea, Penny. They always do. Favourites, that's what they are. Teachers flipping pets. It's not fair. They always get up front. Just look at them. Anyway, so as not to keep you all in suspense any longer, the winning idea is from... Here it comes, Dennis! Penny Crayon, for her splendid idea to have a treasure hunt. Penny Crayon, look, that's not right. We should have succeeded. I've won! I've won! We're going to have a treasure hunt, Dennis! Good old Penny, you won! A treasure hunt! Oh, it's a great idea! You two go to the start of the treasure hunt at Farmer Giles' farm on that tractor. Come on, Dennis, let's get going. In the meantime, I will sell tickets on how long it will take you to find the hidden treasure. Meanwhile, the twins will direct you both from this base from their splendid map. Waste of time that'll be because they'll never find any treasure. No, they won't. We've set lots of rotten clues all leading to nothing. Yeah, they'll come back with nothing and get into trouble because the headmaster will have to give back all the money he's collected. They'll get detention or worse. <laughs> Serve them right, because we should be doing the fun bit instead of being stood standing here in this rotten stall reading this silly map. Now, now, children, don't stand there talking. You must study this map ready to give your bold outside scouts their instructions. Oh, don't you worry, sir. We'll see that they get their instructions all right. You can leave them to us. <laughs> this is the sealed envelope given to me by Spotty Gordon. He said we had to open it when we got to Farmer Giles' farm. Well, it looks as if we were right. Oh, look, Penny, it's laid an egg. First, we have to check the phone by phoning back to base. Pull out the aerial and press the red button. Hello, hello, Penny to base. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, this is base speaking. For your first clue, you must find a pig in a poke. Over and out. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dennis? We've got to find a pig in a poke. All right, come on then. There must be a pigsty around here somewhere. This is a farm after all. <laughs> Pig over there. Pick up that stick, Dennis, and give it a poke. Bless her. Oh, that, I don't think it was a very good idea to poke that pig with a stick, Penny. He didn't like it. Surely, if they knew the pig was that touchy, they shouldn't have included him in the treasure hunt. Well, perhaps those snooty twins didn't know the pig was touchy, Penny. They organise the clues, don't they? Hmm. Yes. That's what makes me suspicious. Penny, there's a duck sitting on your head, and it's got a message tied to its leg. If you gave the pig a poke, you've already discovered our little joke. But if you're wet and out of luck, you found this message on our duck. P.S. Proceed to your second clue in the horse's mouth. Oh, the phone's still working, Penny. I think I know who's behind this. It's those rotten, spotty twins having us on. I suppose you thought that was very funny, sending us into that duck pond. Oh, you got our first message then. <laughs> Stand by for clue number two. Uh, it's in the horse's mouth. 
Oh, forget that. I'm not going near any horse's mouth, Penny. Horse's bite. I think I know what horse's mouth they mean, Dennis. But first, we'll need some transport. A hot air balloon? Oh, what's that got to do with horses, Penny? Jump in and I'll show you. Up we go! That's the horse they're talking about, Dennis. We've got to land at its head. Give me a hand with this contraption. So they meant this horse's mouth. Oh, Penny, you are clever. According to this message, a hidden clue should be around here somewhere. Now, come on, help me look. Oh, it's no good, Dennis. I can't find a clue anywhere. What about a metal detector, Penny? They help you find buried treasure. So they do. I'll draw as a special metal detector. Oh, I think it's getting close to treasure, Dennis. It's making funny noises. I think it's found treasure, Penny. Yes, it must be buried somewhere here. Now what do we do? We can't dig. It's solid concrete. I'll draw as a trapdoor. That should do it. Crikey! Just look at this treasure, Dennis. Oh, yeah, this lot will pay for hundreds of church roofs to be repaired, Penny. Seems an awful lot of gold for a really fake treasure hunt. I think you're right. This looks more like a bank vault to me. Look, there's something printed on the back of this door. This time lock operates the door to the vault of the High Street Bank. Listen, I can hear voices, Penny. Start cutting here. This is the door to the gold vault. Oh, uh, oh I think this bank's being robbed, Dennis. Quick, give me the phone. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Penny Crown to base. Can you hear me? So there you are, Penny. <laughs> I thought we'd lost you for good. <laughs> Have you found the treasure yet? <laughs> yes, we've found it all right, but we think it's about to be stolen. Yes, robbers are breaking in to steal the gold. Go? What gold? There isn't any gold, silly. We made it all up. That's a joke. I tell you, we're in a bank vault about to be broken into by robbers. Listen. Can you hear that? Now call the police and get them down to the high street bank as quick as you can. Quicker than that, if you can. Hurry! You're not fooling us, Penny Crayon. We're not falling for that one. There isn't any treasure. The robbers are nearly in, Penny. Look, they haven't got far to go. Right. If they won't call the police, then I'll have to draw some of our own. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, Penny? This is the vault of the High Street Bank and robbers are about to break in, officer. Coppers, they were waiting for us. It's a fair cop. Look, they've got kids in the force now. They get younger and younger. These two children are responsible for your arrest. There's a reward for you two. Well done, you two children. You've saved the bank's gold. We too will pay your reward. You've earned it. Dennis, I think we found our very own treasure trove. Wait until Sir hears about this, Penny. He will be pleased. And it's thanks to Penny Crayon and Dennis and their reward that we can hand you this fat check as our contribution to the repair of the church roof. The, I collected four pounds fifty pence myself. Well done, Penny and Dennis. We're most grateful. What treasures you both are. <laughs> That's my little joke, you see? <laughs> treasures. <laughs> <laughs> treasures. That's a good one, Nigel. <laughs> treasures. <laughs> Treasure hunt. You stupid idiot. They've made fools of both of us. <clears throat> little treasures we are, Dennis. Solid gold, Penny. Solid gold. <laughs> <laughs>